Hello my friends, welcome back. In the previous video, we made our first request to create a book from our front end by dispatching an action creator to create our book. So in the next video and this, we are going to focus on fetching the book that we have created. So let's get started. So before we can do that, unless we create an action to fetch the book that we have created. So let's get started. So inside the SRC, SRC actions and the book and the book action, I want to add another action to create the book. So I'll count here and then I will say const. Let me label have a comment here. It's called fetch book. Fetch or books action like that, and let me create a function called fetch books action is equal to my arrow function. If I'm around, I will not take any data to make the fetch because when you come to the postman and for books and make fetch. API, you don't pass in anybody data here to send. Okay, because and at the end, we have the one we have created here, only one book that we have created. So let's create one more book here. And um, what was it? I think we come back to that. All right. So here, this is how you create an action. Let's return our dispatch. Okay, because our dispatch. It's going to dispatch our action. The, the main purpose for the dispatch is to make use of async call inside our action creators. So I will mark my dispatch as async because it takes in one argument. I don't need any the bracket, right? So here I can wrap here like this one, but because it's only one, I don't need that. It's optional. So here. I'll make use of try and catch here and then the first request is how to dispatch the action. The first one is the type of what you can guess fetch book request. Okay. Um guys, I already have the action types here, like I showed in the previous video. Here, action types. So the first is um the book part, create book and fetch book. Okay, fetch books like that so i'm importing this one inside my action creators so at the first date i have dispatch request meaning so in my re in my reducer i can put it i can put the data loading when first making the request as you can see when you come to our dev tool here our initial states okay i didn't dispatch any action yet so let's get started Let's get continuous, sorry. So here, let's make the actual call. So I'll make use of my config file because I want to pass in, I want to um, pass as a JSON. Like I always say, express do that for us. So this is optional in this video here. So I'll say headers here, and then I will pass my content type, content type, of application slash mm -hmm. JSON like that. All right. So next is let's uh, let's make the call. So here you're going to dispatch or make a HTTP call to our back end to make the actual call. So here let me make this one make HTTP call to our uh, backend. All right. So here, let's make it const and then response is equal to await. And remember, the path is is get some around. So the path is a slash API slash books. As you can see inside the postman is api slash books 
and we have plugged this one inside our react application so let's continue so now we assume that when everything goes on well you need to dispatch an action of success but i want to destructure the response coming back so and what i need is data from our response okay or you can make it rest the data when it comes back but i want to make it for example we have this and then the actual data will be on the rest the data like that so i have i want to destructure it so that we straight away from here and i'll grab the data that i want so here we assume that everything goes on well the next parameter is i have to pass in my config this is optional like i said and then let's dispatch the action and the type of the action will be what we call it um, fetch book success fetch book success and then i will send a payload of what is coming back as my data so i'm sending this data to my front end okay from back end to front end so payload will be data and if unlucky to ask and something goes wrong you want to dispatch fetch book fail all right and we need to have a payload of the error that is coming call sorry is it my try and catch oh i have to dispatch it the error inside my catch block because i didn't display the error so here inside my error place then then just return the error okay so i want to have a friendly error handling there right okay you do that one so i want to have this um from the previous video there and copy it because i want to have a nice error message to the front end all right so now we have it there so next is we have to create a reducer for that so let's head over to our reducers uh, book and then let's continue so here we are going to make use of book list because we are going to make fetch more books i can manage all my reducers inside or is it my books reducers here here but i want to have it on a separate file so that i have pieces of my state so i can manage it well so here i'll create one reducer for each of my http endpoint i will create a reducer for it so it's optional but this is how i find it very really easy and simple to do so book list um reducer oh, okay dot js and here i'm gonna create my function called book list reducer and then as always a function and then the the argument it takes is first initial state then i'll give it as an array because i will need more than one data and my action that is coming in so we are going to check the action that is coming in to this action reducer so if action dot type okay and the action dot type is fetch book request okay what do i need i want to return my state of i would say loading to true nothing more all right and if the case of let's say fetch book success then i will return the payload sorry um i'll give it a return and then i'll put the result on the book variable books will be action dot payload okay because my data is on my payload for my action as you can as you can see here when you have this respond is on my payload of type data okay and the payload here can be error so the payload can be error or the actual data coming back and the next part of the cake is to handle if something goes wrong and so here i will say case fetch book fail fetch book fail when it's fail the same process i will 
return my loading to be false because at this point it has finished loading and the error from the back end it will be my action that payload like i said the payload can be data or the actual error so next we have to mount this reducer inside my store so let's head over to our store and then let's add that so here inside my store here let's add one more reducer into my combined reducer on line 9 so here i'll make it book books list and then i'll import the fetch book reducer fetch book fetch book reducer okay unlucky to us we didn't have the auto import so you can even grab it from here so fetch book reducer oh sorry i didn't export it that is why it's doing that so let me export it as fetch book fetch book reducer uh -huh. sorry let me check the name sorry book list reducer so it's book list reducer so let me head over to my store and then import this what book list books list reducer okay the auto import works for me so right now we have two states inside application when the book is created and when the book is fetched so let's head over to our project and see so let me make changes to my app we can we don't have to do this one so let me bring it back to let me render the art book okay so let me head over to our application and then refresh it okay um we have a nice error book list return undefined during initialization is because inside my book reducer at initial state we haven't dispatched anything and redox expect us to have an initial state so what we can do here is that when we haven't called any action or dispatched any action we have to give it an initial state so the last is to be the default default simply means that if there is no action coming in let's return our state as it is so with this one we are good to go let's refresh it as you can see we have it there now let's head over to So let's head over to our Redux Dev extension tool here and let's go to state. As you can see, let me open it large here using this one to see. As you can see, we have two states now when the book is created and when the book is fetched. All right, so we can create one more book this time around. Let me add one. I'll choose origin. The author will be uh, Yao here and uh, Node.js. So let's create here. Let's go back to our dev tool here. As you can see, only this one. The first one is when book making the request, our state is true loading. And when everything goes on well, we have our state with the actual book. Okay, the data. But this one has not been populated because having dispatched any action to populate this one. As you can see, we have the book there. So next is we have to find a way of dispatching the action so in the next video we will focus on dispatching an action and then display it inside our project